One of my favorite scenes in the Hall of North American Mammals at the American Museum of Natural History is the diorama of Alaskan brown bears. There's two big 600 pound bears there. And over to the side, which you may not immediately notice, is an otter. And he's got a really hard look on his face because he's just been cheated out of his salmon by one of the bears. The story and the storyline that we tell in the label is that the otter had gone down into the river, got himself a salmon, picked it up onto the beach. You can see the trail of water where he did this. The bears came along, scared the otter off, who now has to just stand at the side, lick his lips while the bears eat what he took. Okay, you, you ready, George? I'm gonna pass them off to you. Do you need one more piece? No, I think we're okay. You're good? Oh, okay, excellent. Okay, so here it comes. Oh my God, it's so light. Really? It must be balsa wood. Wow. It's gotta be balsa wood. There you go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Wow. It's gotta be balsa wood. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow, look at that. This was not cast off a specimen. No, it's I, I a, think that's carved. It's a model, yeah, absolutely. Do you know the species? No, no, I don't. We should we should really find out what the species of salmon is on Kodiak that time yeah, of year. Yeah. This is spring, right? Uh, uh, yeah, these bear are just coming out of hibernation. Yeah. Okay. So it's the first. When we opened the exhibit and George, Dante, and I examined this model, we found that since the hall was built in the late 30s and opened in 1942, it predated the use of materials like fiberglass or polyester resins, which is the common material in the creation of fish models today. It was actually a carved balsa wood model of a sockeye salmon, and it was spectacular. The fins are actually brass sheeting covered in beeswax, and the fin rays and details actually just carved into the beeswax. The detail in the head and the eye is actually carved in beeswax as well. One of our editorial team found that it was carved and sculpted by George Brown, the son of the background painter, Belmore Brown. Sadly, George Brown was killed in a shooting accident in his early 20s. So this model is one of the few pieces of his artwork that we have here at the museum. We called in our staff ichthyologist to review the model. As you could imagine, the references he used were not as good as those we have today. There were some areas of the model that could be improved upon, but did we really want to do that since it had such significance as a sculptural piece, as a balsa wood carving? So working with ichthyology and working with our conservation staff, we developed a method for isolating the original model so that we did not harm the original painting or the original sculpting of the model in any way with a layer, an impervious layer, so that we know at some point in the future we could always get back to the original George Brown surface. And then where required, uh, George Dante, our uh, team taxidermist, painted over George's uh, model to bring the specimen up to being scientifically accurate because we all agree that the primary function of the diorama is to teach good science. We're a science museum before we're an art museum, but we really did want to address the whole uniqueness of this balsa wood carving by George Brown. Yep. Oh, that is cool. Is yeah. It? Brilliant. Great. Great. Excellent. Yeah, I think it's really Excellent. fabulous. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll continue. So I think it should side. have a big arrow pointing at it so people <laughs> stop looking at the, the, um, yeah. the horrible murderer, right. the, murder, yeah. the murderous right. bear, sure. and uh, concentrate on the real animal in the scene. You think we should leave these white areas? Yeah, here? why not? Okay, George, let's, we'll set it down. Mm -hmm. Would you like it this way? Yeah.
such a big value. Thank you. Thank you. I think George and Belmore Brown would be very happy. It's nice that it stayed together, too. It really should. I think you made the right decision. Absolutely.